Hey everyone! I'll be recording this during the day, with not only my darling baby budgies chattering away in the background, but the pleasant screeching of my new neighbours the cockatoos. They've recently learned that the seed we leave for the lorikeets, and to bribe the magpies, can be taken by force. Given how much larger they are, and how much sharper their beaks tend to be, the other birds leave them alone. On average, we get visited by at least 10 to 20 cockatoos a day, eager for a feeding of seed. Hopefully, most of the sound will be blocked out, but if you hear the birds chattering in the background, that's what it is. With the background's disturbance out of the way, I'd like to preface this by saying this is less of a story time and more of a discussion regarding the true characters featured in the art piece. They're both fairly old characters and have very little development, but they seem the best fit for the prompt. The character on the left is named Jacqueline. She was created in approximately 2013 for a portal fanfic I was working on titled Cross My Heart. While I did finish the fic, I never posted all of it. It was during editing I realised how bad the purple prose was, and how desperately I needed to rewrite it before posting more. As evident by the lack of updates, that never happened. However, in my defence, each chapter was roughly 8,000 words long. Most of the word count was flowery language and purple prose. The actual content was much shorter. Jacqueline was designed to be an older woman who used to be a proficient engineer before the Black Mesa incident. She now lives outside of Aperture Laboratories, specifically among the wheat fields. She'd laid claim to the seemingly abandoned plot, taking advantage of the proximity to Aperture to scavenge robotic parts using her skills. Jacqueline spent her time making small creations, such as a robotic dog dubbed R-E-K-S, or Rex. And more noticeably, fine-tuning her prosthetic limbs, which assumedly she lost during the Black Mesa incident. The other character in this image is Jacqueline's son, Maxwell, or Max for short. While he has no presence in the fanfiction, Jacqueline does mention him frequently. During the Black Mesa incident, Maxwell took it upon himself to join the resistance and help those in need, even if it involved fighting the Combine and Zen wildlife such as the headcrabs. He kept his entire body covered in some shape or form. Using a combination of scarves, gloves, vests, goggles, or even straight up armour, I did this on purpose to leave him a mystery, specifically given Jacqueline is shown to have the ability to create realistic, robotic AI. I wanted the question to be, is Maxwell her biological son, or a robot she created for company? The question remains unanswered, while Maxwell remains at war. However, Jacqueline has filled the void of loneliness with her robotic companion, and later on, Chell. That's it for today's video. Stay safe, stay kind, and stay creative. I'd like to thank everyone for watching today. I try to post every Tuesday and Friday at 2am Australian Eastern Daylight Time, or 9am Central Standard Time. If you like the video, please leave a like. Please comment if you have something to say, and if you want to see more speedpaints or animations, please subscribe. A very special thank you to my patrons, Dean G, Debbie G, Thomas H, and Greg W. If you want to support my art and see things first, become a patron with the link below. And please make your day a wonderful one. Goodbye!